Hi there, Ariana from Crafting Happiness here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful snowflake square. And this is a modified pattern of my snowflake hexagon uh, that I posted earlier. Um, if you're interested in, in that shape instead of a square, I will put the um, video link in the description below. But in today's tutorial, I'll show you how to do this square. So let's get started. I'm using for this tutorial Aran yarn in blue and white and a 5mm crochet hook. Uh, you can use any yarn you like with a matching hook. Uh, we will start with the blue, make a magic ring. And then in the magic ring start with a chain of two and then a double crochet. And this is our first double crochet cluster. Then chain two and then into the uh, magic ring make another double crochet cluster. And to make a double crochet cluster you will need two incomplete double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into the um, magic ring, yarn over, pull through two loops and leave that incomplete double crochet on the hook. Then again, yarn over, insert your hook into the magic ring, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the two loops. Now you have two incomplete double crochet, yarn over and pull through all three. And now we have made a double crochet cluster. Then chain two. And this is your repeat section. Uh, you will have to repeat this uh, seven times in total. Uh, so we've made once, you need six more times. And now we have eight clusters in total, including the one you made at the beginning. Um, slip stitch to close the round. So we will slip stitch in that cluster. And then pull the magic ring tail to close the whole shot. And this is your first round. On round two, we will start with a slip stitch into the next chain two space. So we can bring the yarn in that gap and then start with a chain two and a double crochet. This is uh, counts as a double crochet cluster. Then chain two and into the same chain space, make another double crochet cluster. Two incomplete double crochet and then join them together. Then chain two. Now we will work into the next chain two space and make a double crochet cluster. Chain two. Into the same chain space, another double crochet cluster. and chain two. And this is your repeat section right here. Double crochet cluster, chain two, double crochet cluster, chain two into uh, the same chain two space. And we will do that in every single chain two space, uh, which is um, six more. You'll have to have um, eight of these uh, pairs in the round. And when you have um, crocheted in every single chain two space, you will have these eight uh, pairs in each one of them. And to close the round, slip stitch into the first double crochet cluster you have made. And this is your second round. Now we continue with round three and we start by slip stitching into the next chain two space to bring the yarn there. And we will make a chain two and then into the same chain two space, a double crochet. This counts as a double crochet cluster. Then chain three. And again into the same chain space, we make another double crochet cluster. Then chain two. And into the next chain two space, 
make a single crochet and chain two and now into the next chain two space so double crochet cluster then chain three and into the same space a double crochet cluster and then chain two and into the next chain two space single crochet then chain two and this is your repeat section right here um, double crochet cluster chain three double crochet cluster into the next chain two space then chain two single crochet chain two into the next chain two space and repeat this all around seven times and uh, once you have a single crochet into the last chain two space in a round to close the round slip stitch in that first double crochet cluster you have made and this is the third round to start a round four slip stitch into the next chain three space to bring the yarn there and then chain two and double crochet this is our first double crochet cluster then chain one in the same chain three space make another double crochet cluster and then uh, we will make a picot stitch and to make a picot stitch chain three and then slip stitch in the base stitch so not into the chain three but into the base stitch right here you'll have to insert your hook through the three loops you have there right here and then slip stitch and this is your picot stitch right here and then to continue chain one and into the same chain three space make another double crochet cluster then chain two and we will single crochet into the next chain two space and again single crochet into the next chain two space then chain and now we continue uh, into the next uh, chain three space and make a double crochet cluster chain one then another double crochet cluster followed by a picot stitch chain three slip stitch through the base stitch then chain one and finally another double crochet cluster then chain two single crochet into the next chain two space again single crochet into the next chain two space and chain two and this is your repeat section right here into the next chain three space make a double crochet cluster chain one double crochet cluster picot stitch chain one double crochet cluster chain two and then into the next two chain two spaces you single crochet so one single crochet here one single crochet here followed by chain two and that is your repeat section and you'll have to do that seven times in total including this so you will have eight picot stitches all around your snowflake and when you have a single crocheted into the last chain two space and you've reached the end of the round slip stitch at the top of the first double crochet cluster to close the round and this is how round four looks like 
and this is where we also um, we will change colors to white I've already cut the yarn and now we will join with white by pulling a loop through then pull the blue loop to close it and chain one and this is how we join colors now we start round five with two single crochet into the next chain one space so in between uh, these two clusters make two single crochet make sure you pull the tails so we toughen it now uh, we will crochet into the next chain one space but we want this picot up front so push it uh, in front and then make two single crochet into the next chain one space like so next make a double crochet into the next chain two space and we will be making two long double crochet uh, that are anchored into round two so uh, to make a long double crochet uh, we make it uh, like a, just like a regular double crochet except we insert the hook a couple of uh, rounds below so yarn over insert your hook into the chain space between these two clusters on round two pull up a loop a long loose loop like this yarn over through two and then yarn over through two and this is how a long double crochet looks like now we make another one into the same space and a double crochet into next chain two space into the next chain one space make two double crochet then chain one and into the next chain one space make two double crochet like so then another double crochet into the chain two space and again we are in the dips of the snowflake we will make two long double crochet stitches so yarn over insert your hook into the round two in that chain two space pull up a loop a long loose loop like so then yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two another one try not to make them too tight then a double crochet into the next chain two space and this is your um, repeat section uh, right here this section uh, will need to be repeated uh, four times in total so three more times when you reach the end of the round then a slip stitch into the first single crochet you have made to close the round and this is how round five looks like we start round six into the same stitch where we have slip stitch so chain one doesn't count as a stitch and then single crochet into that same stitch you have slip stitch then single crochet into the next three stitches so it's gonna be into the four single crochet below next we are going to um, double crochet into the next six stitches it's a double crochet in each That's it. and the sixth one and now we have reached uh, the chain one and this is going to be our corner and in this chain one space we are going to make two double crochet chain two two double crochet and that will form the corner of uh, our square so chain two and then two more double crochet and now again uh, we will make a six double crochet uh, and we start from here from uh, this 
first double crochet so uh, when you create a corner sometimes it covers the stitch make sure you pull out and um, uh, uncover this stitch and starting from the stitch you make six double crochet that's one two three four five and six so right until we uh, have the four uh, single crochet this is your repeat section uh, repeat it uh, four times around the snowflake until uh, you reach uh, the end of the round now all you have to do uh, is slip stitch into the first single crochet you have made to close the round and this is our uh, sixth round completed on round seven we start with a chain of three that counts as a double crochet and uh, this is an easy uh, round uh, with just double crochet stitches to square off the uh, corners and straighten the edges so uh, just double crochet in every single um, stitch until you reach the chain two space like this and once you reach uh, the corner the chain two space make two double crochet chain two double crochet two double crochet into the same space so two double crochet chain two and then two double crochet into the same space and now just repeat on each side double crochet in each stitch and once you reach the chain to space make two double crochet chain two two double crochet in that space and repeat that all around until you reach the end at the end of the round just slip stitch on the top chain three you have made at the beginning then cut your yarn and fasten off and this is the completed snowflake square it just looks like that and from the back and this is it this is how you crochet the snowflake square if you have any questions about this pattern feel free to ask me in the comments below and I'm more than happy to help you also you will find in the description below um, the written pattern uh, with photo tutorial for this square happy crocheting